Hey, good evening out there. I am doing another daggum project. I keep telling myself, Jason, you ain't gonna do no more projects, and here I am. Alright, I'm doing a TDI ALH donor is a 2001 Beetle Auto. Look at them miles 310, 508 grand, a thousand. Man, this thing runs so good. Alright, parted the whole car out. Uh, decided I wanted to do I'm putting it in a rabbit. Mark one. Um. Here's what I'm trying to get rid of. I'm trying to get rid of that daggum light, that ABS light, and that airbag light. All right. Um, let's move it on over to VACOM. Hopefully you can see this okay. Hang on, don't go back. Uh, fault codes. Da, 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 da. I'm trying to do this well. All right, look at there. What do we got? No control module for the engine. Got it. Yeah, we'll get there later. Central, no no transmission. Yeah, okay, well, she was an auto. Now she can be a Mark III CTN 02A transmission. ABS control module. Yeah, it's never going to be there, I promise. And control module for airbags, not there. And the fuel level sensor. That's another thing. I can't get the fuel sender to work. According to the Bentley, it goes through... Um, like it uses a ground through the engine coolant temperature sensor it's real weird um, having a problem with that uh, so I was thinking maybe my gauges were dead but if I go to done go back output test begin um, let's see here I am I'm sorry hang on here let's see here uh, yeah, I'll put test. Start next. There you go. There's the gauges moving. So I knew all the gauges were working. Alright, and then I do next. Alright, it's asking me, are my lights on? Yeah, some of the lights, whatever. I've seen all the others. I'm good. Alright, it says is my gong working. Yeah, the LED's working. Yeah, I'm on blinking and noisemaker works. All right, that's the end. So, like I say, I need help getting that bad boy to go away so I don't have to use, I'd hate to have to reach down in here and right there, we could do that, but we don't want to do that. We like to do it the right way. And we want to get rid of the ABS light too. I'm never gonna have it. Um, I know how to make the brake light work as if the handbrake was working. Got that wire sorted, but I just don't know how to do this with, uh, you know, without covering these lights up permanently. Um, so yeah, anybody out there done this swap, I'd love some help. Thank you.